Alnalam, Mintaka. Three names you might not know, but three stars that are about to blow your mind. Because what seems like a simple line in the sky is actually one of the most spectacular regions we could have ever observed. And we're about to travel 1,500 light years in the next seconds. We're leaving Earth at a million times the speed of light. Our solar system gone in seconds. We're crossing distances that light itself takes 15 centuries to travel, passing thousands of stars, each one potentially surrounded by worlds we'll never see. Welcome to Alnalam, the center of Orion's belt. This is one of the most luminous stars visible to the naked eye from Earth. Its mass is estimated to be 34.6 times that of the Sun. But here's the thing that should terrify and amaze you. Alnilam is estimated to be 420,000 times more luminous than the Sun. And this is a conservative number. If you replaced our Sun with Alnilam, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and possibly Mars would be instantly vaporized. Its radiation is so intense it lights up clouds of gas hundreds of light years away. This star is only a few million years old, but it's burning so hot, so bright, that it's consuming its fuel at an incredible rate. In another few million years, Alnilam will explode as a supernova, one of the most violent events in the universe. Now we're heading to Alnitak, one of the edges of Orion's belt. Its estimated diameter is around 20 times larger than our Sun and about 33 times more massive. And here's what's wild. Alnitak is actually three stars in one, a triple star system locked in an eternal cosmic dance. The main star, Alnitak A is orbited by two smaller companions. They're so close that their gravity distorts each other, pulling and stretching across space. And all of this? Completely invisible from Earth. When you look up at Orion's belt, you're actually seeing more than just three points of light. And Alnitak has a neighbor one of the most famous cosmic sculptures in existence, which we will explore at the end of this video. But now, we will head to Mintaka, at the other side of Orion's belt. The third guardian, Mintaka. And this one, this one has a secret. From Earth, Mintaka looks like a single star. But look closer, it's another multiple star system. At least six stars, all bound by gravity. Two massive stars orbiting each other every 5.73 days, so close they're nearly touching. And here's what makes Mintaka special. It's an eclipsing binary. Every few days, one star passes in front of the other, and the light dims. We can detect this from Earth. That tiny flicker across more than a thousand light years of space allows astronomers to measure their size mass, and temperature. It's like they're sending us a message. Mintaka may look like a single point of light in the sky, but in reality, it's a precise cosmic system locked in an orbital rhythm. From more than a thousand light years away, its light rises and falls with clockwork accuracy. Not by chance, not by mystery, but by physics, quietly unfolding in the dark. And here's the wild truth about Orion's belt. It's an illusion. From Earth, the stars look perfectly aligned. But what we're seeing is a flat projection of a three-dimensional reality. They're not actually close to each other at all. 
They only appear aligned from our exact perspective in the universe. It's like standing in a field and seeing three distant mountains that happen to line up. From almost any other angle in the galaxy, Orion's belt wouldn't appear side by side the way it does from Earth. And now, as we promised, we will visit something incredible, magnificent, one of the most famous cosmic sculptures in existence. Just beside Alnatak, something strange interrupts the light. Not a star, not a void, but a silhouette. This is the Horsehead Nebula, a shape so familiar, it almost feels intentional. What you're seeing isn't glowing gas, it's darkness. A dense cloud of cold dust standing in front of a vast curtain of light. The horsehead doesn't shine, it blocks the glow behind it. Up close, this nebula is enormous, several light years tall. Yet from Earth, it appears smaller than a grain of sand held at arm's length. Its shape only exists because of perspective. Shift your viewpoint, and the horse disappears. Inside this dark cloud, stars are being born, gravity slowly pulling gas inward, temperatures dropping. What looks like silence is actually creation in progress. But we can't leave without visiting the crown jewel of this region. Look down from the belt to what ancient astronomers thought was a star, the Orion Nebula. This is where stars are born. We're flying through a cloud of gas and dust 24 light years across. Inside this cloud, gravity is pulling matter together, slowly, patiently, building new stars grain by grain. Some of these stars are being born right now. Others are already millions of years old. At the heart of the nebula, the trapezium, four massive young stars, less than a million years old. They're so bright, so powerful, that they're destroying the very cloud that created them. Their light and stellar winds are blowing the nebula apart. In a few million years, this nursery will be gone, and a new star cluster will remain. The presence of a black hole within the cluster could explain the observed high velocities of the trapezium stars, but this is still speculation. But here's what you should remember. We're part of this. The atoms in your body were forged inside stars. When those stars exploded billions of years ago, they scattered those atoms across space. Those atoms became gas clouds. Those clouds became our sun, our planets, and eventually, us. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and help us create more content like this for you.